There are so many men that has toys. They either construct or they deconstruct with their toys. And they all do it because they have a vision of how they want the world to be. And this, I feel like it's the same thing with the camera and the camera shows it perfectly. So earlier you had to be almost like a chemist to be a photographer. Now you can be stupid to take photographs because the camera will do it better than you can imagine. So an example for this is uh, if you compare the camera with the game of chess. The camera is advanced but easy to use nowadays. But chess is easily produced but advanced to play. It's fucking advanced. I have been photographing for all my life now that I can remember since I started walking I was given a camera in my hand and it kind of became like this body part and like last two or three years I have been starting to question what is this body part and why do I have it and what can I use it for in that sense my project uh, started and took form and it's called machine ital machine in a rhythm i have been to uh, quite many train rides here in india and what i like about trains is that if you photograph on a train who is the person or who is deciding the frame is it the photographer pushing the button or is it the train moving the landscape so it's a conflict between the photographer and the apparatus Noises everywhere because everyone is taking pictures. It doesn't mean that all the pictures are good pictures. Good pictures in the way that it provokes a feeling. It ha contains some information. It contains new information. For example, when I look at the, the landscapes here with the greens, and I think about earlier, it was only a possibility to do it in black and white and now you can do it in colors. Then what is the most realistic? Do you have more information in the black and white? Is it more focused on to what is in front of you? And then if it's the color green, does it come more surreal? For me, it becomes more surreal when it is colors. Thank you.